great. I found a blanket. There. This should help you warm up. I could use a blanket. Thank you. I have something else for you, Professor. I found this ancient amulet in the cabin. I'm guessing it belongs to you. Let me see it. Ah, yes. It's mine, all right. This is the Rigvedic deity Yama, the Lord of Death and Justice. I'm not superstitious, but this amulet always brings me luck. Thank you, Anna. Please don't lose that amulet again, Professor. I have a feeling we'll need all the luck we can get. Now, what happened to you this past week? We deciphered all the encoded messages you received. We know you're being hunted. Ah. Who are these people? Why do they want to kill you? They're Nazi fanatics. Cold-blooded killers. They're obsessed with my field of study, Indian occultism. Specifically how it can benefit the German revival. Are they brown shirts? The same people who were looking for you earlier this year? Yes, the ones who sent Claudia here. The Nazis are relentless. I refuse to work for them. So they'll keep sending assassins after me until I'm dead. There must be a way to keep you safe. We'll think of something. How many assailants were there? There are two of them. Just one now. We found one torn apart by wolves. As they say, the dog shall die a dog's death. However, I'm still in grave danger if one of those killers is alive. And even if I evade one fanatic, more Nazis will be sent after me. There's only one way out. I need to run as far away as possible. The United States, Canada, wherever these maniacs won't find me. That's a smart plan, but we need to deal with the second assailant first. Otherwise, you might not even make it to the border. Deal with him? How? I refuse to kill a human being. But as long as he's alive, my life's in danger. And we don't have the resources to hold him captive. Hmm. What if we tricked him into thinking you were dead? Then the fanatics will stop looking for you. It sounds like a long shot, but I'm willing to try anything. We won't let anything happen to you, Professor. Yeah, we will protect you as best we can. I'm going to take another look around the assailant's body outside. I will stay inside and take care of Charles as he recovers. Going outside alone will be dangerous. You should take my rifle. No, you need to be armed to protect the professor. Besides, if I'm being honest, I'm not a great shot. The guest in room 7 left a gun behind. I insist you take it. You can use it to scare an attacker away at least. Fair enough. Room 7 it is, then. The door will be locked. Take my master key. Great. I found a key.
Great. I found a gun. Just my luck. No wonder the guest left this gun behind. It's completely jammed. I'll need to fix it. the gun, Otto, but it's completely jammed. I'll need to disassemble it and grease it with oil. I thought you were a lousy shot. I know how to fix guns. I just don't fire them particularly well. I see. There is an oiler in the kitchen. Thank you. I'll bring it here. In the meantime, can you disassemble the gun? Of course. Leave it to me. I found an oil. I've got the oiler. Wunderbar. The gun parts are ready for you on the table. Okay, time to grease these parts. to assemble them. Great! I found a gun. Excellent! Just like you. All right. I'm heading to the backyard. Careful out there, Anna.
great. I found a cigarette case. Why is this cigarette case so unusually bulky? It looks like there's a secret section at the top. I wonder if there's something hidden inside. I'd better go back to the hotel to open it, or I'll end up like this assailant. Goodness, you are safe. Did you find anything out there? Yes, an unusual cigarette case. I bet there's something hidden inside. Let's see if my suspicions are correct. found some instructions. Just as I thought! Hmm. It appears to be a set of instructions. The grammar suggests that the writer isn't fluent in English. Use code to communicate with Prof. If he resists, kill him and... Oh. Let me see that. Kill him and all witnesses? By protecting me, you're both in mortal danger. I shouldn't have come here. Calm down, Professor. We've got to stick together. I know, but... I'm yes, here's what I have in mind. As we know, the assassin won't stop until his mission is complete. It's only a matter of time before he makes his move. My plan is to set up a lifelike mannequin, dress it up like the professor, and wait for the assailant to shoot his target. The real professor will be hiding in a safe location while this is going on. When it's over, the Nazis will call off their search. The professor should be free to cross the border in disguise. Yeah, this might just work. If the assailant doesn't take the bait, we'll capture him and figure out a new plan. What do you think, Professor? It's risky, but I'm sure we can pull it off. I'm out of options at this point. I'm game if you are. Let's put the plan in motion. Firstly, we need a mannequin. Maybe a shop in town has fun. Good idea, Otto. I'm heading off to the town. Please be careful, Liebkin.
Where should I go to find a mannequin? Antique shops carry a lot of odds and ends. I'll start there. Anna, what a surprise to see you. I'm just here to... Uh, I'm on duty. The shopkeeper's away, so I'm keeping an eye on things here. Of course. Quite a snowstorm last night. I know. I'm here so often I may take up skiing. What brings you back to town this time? All good, I hope. I'm afraid not, officer. There's been another incident at the Riga Hotel. You see, it all started three days ago. That's horrible. Just horrible. I'll do everything I can to help. Is there anything you still need to pull off your plan? Yes. I'm looking for a mannequin. Do you know where I can find one in town? Hmm. How about this one? Yes. I think that'll work. The height is perfect. It's heavier than it looks. I'll help you carry it. Does the mannequin have a head and hands? I suppose we could put a cantaloupe on it, but... Yes, I believe it does have a head and hands. Have a look around. find the hands anywhere. Wait, now I remember. There was a magic show at the bar last night. One of the magicians needed an extra pair of hands. I hope he didn't make the hands disappear. Let's go to the bar and find them. Afternoon, officer. Miss? Nice to meet you. Early as unusual. We're on police business, Jürgen. Do you remember those mannequin hands yesterday? The ones that the magician used for the show? Yes, exactly. Where are they now? Probably in that mess in the corner. Haven't cleaned it yet. If the hands are there, I'll find them.
pair of hands. Found them! Excellent! I was worried the magician might have run off with them. Thank you, Jürgen. See you in a few hours. A <laughs> beer will be waiting for you. I have everything I need, so I'm going to hurry back to the hotel. Give me a moment to bring my car around. No need, officer. We should use my car. The assailant might not attack if he sees a police car. Good thinking, Anna. You drive. Anna, thank goodness. It was getting late, and I started to worry. I'm perfectly fine, Otto. We got the mannequin. Officer, thank you for coming. Danke. We are in a terrible situation here. Yes, Anna briefed me on all the details. I'll help in any way I can, Mr. Rega. Everything went okay in town? The town is quiet, as usual. That is good to hear. So you do not suspect you were... followed? No, I think we're in the clear. We took my car instead of a police car to remain covert. Smart thinking. Where should we place the dummy? We'll set up in the hall since the windows are nice and big. Sounds good. Let's get to work. Officer, please place the mannequin in front of that chair, near the open window. Very good. Now let's assemble it. A trained killer will be able to tell. Hold that thought, Professor. We're not finished yet. Can you give me a few clothing items? Like what exactly? Your coat, a hat, those sorts of things. I left my coat by the fireplace. Give me a moment, my legs still hurt. Stay there, I'll get your coat for you. Great, I found a coat. There we go. That looks a little better. What else do you need? Can you spare a fedora? I lost one in the mountains, but I may have one more in my room. I'll go check. <laughs> 